Have you given God full control of your life? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. A man was watching the news one night when it was reported that a car was going the wrong direction on the freeway. The man knew his wife was on that freeway and became concerned and called his wife. She answered and he said, Dear, there is a car going the wrong direction on the freeway. She exclaimed, One car! There are hundreds! In today's Gospel reading, Jesus laments that in spite of the miracles He had shown, the towns of Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum did not believe. He carried the message of salvation to these towns, but He was spurned. Many of us like to think that we are in control. A husband telling his wife that he knows what he is doing when she suggests they ask for help when they get lost looking for their supposed destination. Or the wife telling the husband she is in control of house matters and he should not be meddling into what he is not an expert on. Or the teenager not wanting to be bothered by his or her parents when told to be careful in the choice of friends because he, she is in control. Yet the reality is that in many instances, we are really not in control. For one, we are not in control of how people respond or react to us, to our words, our actions, our offers of help, our gestures of kindness, our unsolicited advice. We can offer our hand of friendship, but we are not sure if people will accept it. We can ask for forgiveness, but we may be ignored. Busted attempts during courtships, busted lips when advances are rejected. They are plenty, but more busted lives result because of our refusal to let God take control. Jesus brought God to people in His time, but not all accepted it. He was mocked and persecuted. He was rejected because He taught people to pass through the narrow gate, to carry their crosses, to make sacrifices like Him, to deserve a good life after life. We can only be in control of our emotions and our decisions, how we react to provocations of anger, the job we apply for, the school we go to, whether or not to take the vaccines offered. We can choose to be stressed with the hard knocks of life, or we can choose to grind it out and rest in the sanctuary of our Lord's care. We can choose to let Jesus clean up the mess we have made in our lives, or we can remain mired in our addictions, vices, and sinful ways. We can choose to have a change of mindset, to have a metanoia, to turn away from our sinful past and accept God's invitation to repent and be redeemed by His grace. But even if we choose to side with God instead of the devil, we can still refuse to give Him full control. We can still choose to be nominal in our faith. Someone once said that all believers have God in their heart, but not all believers have given their whole heart to God. Indeed, regrets are aplenty later on. Today, as we drive through the freeway of life, let us ask God to take control and drive us Himself to the right direction, leading to our preferred destination, His heavenly kingdom. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, take control of my life and lead me to my sanctification and salvation. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.